We were working with the Fermat point problem. And in this particular video, we will work on a proof of it using rotation. It's a very interesting proof. Uh, it will We will learn a lot using it. So what was the problem? Let me remind you and the link in the description will take you to the previous video. You can watch it. Uh, this one has the proof. Let's start with the problem. The problem is very simple actually and it's very intuitive in nature. It says that we have a triangle ABC, A, B and C. I'll just draw three points for the moment. We are looking for a point. We are interested to find a point F somewhere in the plane. F, this is we want to find this. We want to find this. Uh, such that FA plus FB plus FC is minimal. And in the previous video, we discussed the geometric significance of it, the practical applications of it. It's a very interesting point in its own right. FA plus FB plus FC is as small as you can make it is minimal. We want to find this point. By the way, here is a question for you to think about. Can you find a point F such that F is square plus F B square plus F C square is minimal? Can you find a point like that inside a triangle ABC? Think about it. This is a fun problem. You can put it in the link in the description uh, or in the comment. A section okay all right continuing uh, we want to find a point f like this and i described a method of finding such a point so let me give you the description one more time we start with the triangle abc maybe i can just zoom in a little bit we start with the triangle abc like this and we construct equilateral triangles on three sides of ABC. So uh, let me use three uh, colors like this. So equilateral triangles like this. A on AC, on BC and on AB. Okay, so let's name this points. Uh, this one is D. This is E and this is F suppose. All right. Uh, the first thing we want to show, this is the claim one, that CE is equal to BD. CE is equal to BD. Now, I'll, I'll ask you to pause the video and give it a try on your own. It's not very hard. It's actually quite easy. You can do it using normal geometry. You can do it using normal geometry. But we will just have a little fun and we will do it using rotation. There is a very beautiful book by Yaglom uh, called Geometric Transformation. You can find this book online. Uh, this is a very nice book actually. Uh, there are four volumes of this. And uh, you can learn a lot about transformation geometry from this book. Anyway, coming back to this problem. BD and CE, we want to show that they are equal. How do we show it? Well, uh, we will use rotation. So to use rotation, we need to first find out the center of rotation. Whenever we want to do rotation, we will be thinking about center of rotation first. This is a general problem solving strategy. Okay, So look at this. Uh, we want to show CE is equal to BD. How do we do it? If we can rotate CE, if we can rotate CE and make it fall on BD, think about it, what I'm saying. I'm saying if we can rotate CE and make it fall on BD, then we are done. Because if it falls exactly on BD, since rotation preserves size, so there is a special name for this, rotation preserves length, 
and there is a special name for this kind of transformation it's known they are known as isometry therefore CD and BE will be exactly of the same size if I can rotate CE and make it fall on BD of course we need to find the center of rotation which can make this happen so I'll give it to you the center of rotation is A can you pause the video now and try this problem from this point can you show that we can make a rotation about A and make CE fall on BD because after you found the center of rotation you need to find the angle of rotation that's it so how do we do it okay uh, we will say that angle of rotation is this much so angle is angle e a c so this angle is theta here let's suppose we don't know what it is but we know this is 60 degree so the angle of rotation is 60 degree plus theta okay now um, if you make this rotation happen notice that a E will fall on B. E will fall on B. And so this is okay. Uh, maybe we can just change the angle of rotation a little bit. Instead of making it six, 60 plus theta, let's just make the angle of rotation 60 degree. That should be sufficient. Yes. So instead of making it 60 plus theta, let's make it just 60 degree okay so now 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 it will work I think if, if we rotate about a rotate about a by 60 degree then E will fall on B E falls on B because obviously this line a e is equivalent to the line a B they are equal in size a E is equal to A B because they are equal in size because A B E is equilateral equilateral and suddenly this angle is 60 degree here so if we rotate if we rotate A E about A if we rotate A E about A it will definitely fall on a B if the angle of rotation is 60 degree okay now similarly a C will exactly fall on a D a C will exactly fall on a D because this angle right here this angle is also 60 degree and a C is equal to a D why a C is equal to a D because this is also a C D is a is equilateral triangle okay all right so angle of root is uh, six, six, uh, 60 degree rotation does the trick so maybe I can write it here 60 degree rotation about about a makes a e fall on a b precisely and makes a c fall exactly on AD and their sizes are equal because these two are equilateral triangles so E falls on B C falls on D and that means CE falls precisely on BD CE falls on BD exactly the same argument will work if you want to show that AF is equivalent to BCE. Let me draw that. AF is equivalent to AE. If we uh, CE, sorry, CE. So that's the okay. CE. Here we go. Uh, that's the next thing you can show uh, 
and this is easy this is the same argument this is the same rotation argument in the next video we will show that all these three lines actually pass through the same point all these three lines must actually pass through the same point so what which three lines well these three lines AF CE and BD can you show this this is not hard AF BD and CE pass through the same point and that point is our desired format point that is the point FA plus that makes FA plus FB plus FC minimal we, we will need to show that as well it's a very interesting journey we will be using uh, some angle chasing to show that AF, C, B, D and C E pass through the same point and then we will be using an extended version of Ptolemy's theorem to show that F A plus F B plus F C is minimal uh, uh, and if you pick any other point minimal means if you pick any other point let's say F here then F A plus F prime here then F prime A plus F prime B plus f prime c will be larger than uh, fa plus fb plus fc for this choice of f it's a very interesting journey it's a use of uh, for ptolemy's theorem um, we will we will do this in the next video but you can try it and send it to me by email at support at chinta.com link in the description has the previous video and some more beautiful mathematics